Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified in the future. Let's begin. This spread is for all water signs. Perhaps your story is uh, somewhere here, <laughs> but there's also a separate spread just for your sign timestamps should be in the description box down below. Uh, we have uh, the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Cups, and uh, we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have Sagittarius on the table. But uh, the main theme of this spread right here is uh, a trip traveling, right? Uh, we have three cards on the table that could be interpreted as cards of travel, right? Um, the Wheel of Fortune, by the way, is one of them, but it could also be a card of a starting a new cycle. So for some of you, traveling or relocating or moving in together or moving could be um, what's actually going on here. But for others, you could be thinking of uh, where you want to go over the weekend, or perhaps you're planning a vacation that's going to come up at some point in the future. So we do start with the uh, Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, you could be either deciding between a couple of um, destinations you want to go to. If you're relocating, perhaps you're still deciding between two apartments, two cities, two countries, two planets, I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> All right. Um, or if you if you just if you already know where you're going, if you already know where uh, you're moving to, or relocating, then perhaps you've got some you know errands to run before you go with the Two of Pentacles, right? Again, with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands, definitely some kind of a trip coming up. All right, or relocation. Um, the Nine of Cups, clarifying the Eight of Wands. That was the answer to my question: How will uh, water signs feel about this after all? Or is it something good, something positive? And the answer is yes, it's something good and positive because the Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, uh, um, or it's a card of uh, personal satisfaction and fulfillment. All right, so yeah, you'll you'll feel good about this. All right, cool. Cancer, uh, we have the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords, we have the Lovers, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, and we have uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini, um, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. You know what it looks like, Cancer? You, you're saying yes to someone. <laughs> so, I don't know when the offer was extended to you, perhaps the offer will be extended over the weekend or it was extended prior to the weekend and uh, you're telling them yes, yes, move, let's move forward, let's move in together, let's relocate, let's uh, do whatever they're proposing you to do. There's definitely two people involved here. One of them would be you and the other one is probably uh, the person who extended you this offer or about to extend it to you, right? So we start off with the Queen of Cups. That's you, Cancer. I think it's a safe assumption. Um, and uh, here comes the yes, right? The Ace of Swords, clarified by the Six of so Swords. That's it right there. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. It's a card of clarity. It's a card of a brand new beginning. It's a card of somebody who is being very decisive, right? And uh, the Six of Swords is a card of moving forward um, or relocating or moving in together. And uh, all of this has to do with the remaining cards, right? The Lovers, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Yep, uh, the Lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with, the Knight of Pentacles uh, could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but um, you know, the Lovers is also a card of a choice, but uh, since the Lovers came out after the Ace of Swords, right, you've already made up your mind prior to that. So in this case, the Lovers is either a Gemini, like I said, but uh, it could be also the lover of your life, Cancer. It could be. The Lovers, in my opinion, is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And uh, as I already mentioned, it could be the lover of your life card. And uh, also, in my opinion, the only other card that comes close to the Lovers in terms of the actual love connection between two people is the Two of Cups. And that's exactly what we have on the bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups, right? It's also a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. The Knight of Pentacles, clarifying the lovers, could be an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but uh, the Knight of Pentacles never hurts, <laughs> okay? Because it's always good to have the lovers, it's always good to have the Two of Cups, but the Knight of Pentacles is like the backbone, right? You have a lot of love 
between each other, but there's also something that uh, keeps you guys down to earth. But it, it could simply be like purchasing a house together or moving in together and purchasing furniture for the new place, right? The Knight of Pentacles could simply be money in the bank, right? Uh, the Knight of Pentacles could also be planning ahead because the Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most grounded knight out of all four knights. So perhaps with the Knight of Pentacles, you guys are simply planning your future together, like 5, 10, 20 years into the future. So I really like this mix, right? Uh, we have uh, the swords, uh, we have the cups, the pentacles, and um, yeah, looks good. It looks very loving, but at the same time, very serious and very grounded. Alright? Cool. Scorpio, we have uh, the three of ones, we have the king of pentacles, clarified by the ten of cups, we have the ace of pentacles, and judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, What's interesting about this reading, Scorpio, is that for some of you, it could be an ex coming back to you. For others of you, it's just like um, a decision that is being made to move forward, right? Uh, judgment on the bottom of the deck. That card could be a card of somebody coming back from the past. But at the same time, it could be a card of somebody having to make a judgment call, right? The three of ones, the first card that came out, kind of also qualifies as a judgment call card. But with the three of ones, this is like what we see after the judgment call has already been made. Because I usually interpret the three of ones as a card of somebody who already made up their mind, somebody who already made a decision, and it's final, all right? And uh, that goes nicely together with the judgment card. So for somebody, it could be an ex coming back to you, deciding to pursue you, deciding that they miss you, that they made a huge mistake by uh, not being with you, by breaking up with you. And now, now they're going to come in and offer you a serious commitment. If it's a new person, same deal. <laughs> They've made up their mind about you. They see you as somebody they want to spend the rest of their life with. Okay, so, and uh, that would be the King of Pentacles right there in the middle. Uh, probably an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. Um, they're coming in with that Ace of Pentacles right next to the deck. It could be a proposal. It could be. All right, and uh, you'll be surprised how often. Uh, exes come back and they think that the only way to get somebody back is to propose to them or offer them to move in together and it often works <laughs> Scorpio if it's a new person still there they want to get serious with you with that ace of Pentacles right um, as I was clarifying the king of Pentacles I simply asked what's the end game for this person what do they really want with you and the ten of cups showed up right they do want a serious commitment with you and they've having children is still an option for you the two of you definitely could have children together because the ten of cups is a, a family card it's a, it's a great card to have um, all right Scorpio cool Pisces, uh, we have Judgment, clarified by the Page of Cups, uh, we have uh, the Five of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands, we also have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Swords, and we also have the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, the Aries, the Aries, Sagittarius, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Some of you could be dealing with two people, Pisces, right? One of them could be an ex, and another one could be uh, a new person. If you're dealing with just one person, that would be the King of Wands, and this is your ex. And uh, if that's the case, then you'll have a choice to make, whether you want to give them a second chance or not. All right. Uh, so, yeah, let's focus on the scenario where you just deal with one person, right? The king of wands, right there, clarifying the five of cups. So it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. The five of cups is a card of grief and regret. Right, the first card I came out is Judgment, which is clarified by the Page of Cups. Judgment, in this case, is somebody coming back from the past. The Page of Cups is an apology, and perhaps a bouquet of roses. <laughs> All right, uh, I believe you are the person in the Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck, clarified by the Two of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles is often referred to as the Empress of the Minor Arcana cards. The Nine of Pentacles is also a card of a single person. Right, uh, And most importantly, it's a card of somebody who is doing good, somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who is taking care of themselves, you know, puts themselves first, and uh, that's good, that means having standards, and I usually promote standards. Right, um, You're clarified by the uh, Two of Swords, and we also have the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Okay, both of those two cards are talking about the same thing. You having to make a choice, whether you want to give this person a second chance or not. Take your time. 
they'll be patiently waiting for you to answer right and uh, yeah there is no fast moving energy cards so yeah like I said take your time and see what's uh, what you want to do here Pisces all right cool and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified thank you for watching